In this dose calc example, we're going to focus on looking at per dose versus per day. Distractors can happen in these problems, and it's all about how the question is worded and the information that you're given in the problem. Take this problem, for example. Yes, we're going to do dimensional analysis. I'm going to jump straight to my question. What is the maximum number of milliliters the child could receive per day? So our goal is to find the maximum number of milliliters per day, and that is so important. And the maximum I will address right here in a second, but in terms of milliliters per day, let's start off with milliliters at the top of our first fraction. The only time milliliters is mentioned in our problem is right here. In five milliliters, there's 250 milligrams of amoxicillin. So I'm putting the five milliliters at the top since we want milliliters per day. And as I mentioned a moment ago, the five milliliters, that contains 250 milligrams of amoxicillin. Now we need milliliters per day, so we need to get rid of our milligrams. And up here we have 25 to 40 milligrams per kilogram per day. The word maximum, looking at this safe range, we want to use the 40 milligrams. 25 is the minimum number of milligrams per kilogram per day, but since we're talking about the maximum, Let's bring in the 40 milligrams. Yes, I'm bringing in the double slash. That's what I call this right here. This allows us to cancel out our milligrams. And recall, our goal is the maximum number of milliliters per day. The maximum is where we brought in this 40 milliliters per day. Look at this, this is so important. We have milliliters at the top, we have day at the bottom. We have not met our goal yet though because we need to get rid of kilograms. Since the child's weight is in pounds, you know me, I don't do any calculations outside of my dimensional analysis. I'm gonna tie in that conversion so that we can cancel out our kilograms. Now let's get rid of these pounds here. And we do that by tying in the child's weight. 64 pounds is the one child. Pounds cancel out. The only words we have left are milliliters per day. Now the distractor. Some students are like, well, how do I tie in this two equal doses? We don't. Two equal doses is a distractor based on this question because this question said milliliters per day. We have milliliters, that's the only word left at the top. We have day, that's the only word left at the bottom. You do not use the two equal doses in this question. Now had the question said maximum milliliters per dose, Yes, we would have to tie that in. There is no universal way to these problems because it's all about how things are given and how the question is worded. Dimensional analysis, in my opinion, takes care of this beautifully. We've met our goal. Let's multiply all of our top numbers and divide by all of our bottom numbers, rounding to the nearest tenth. The maximum number of milliliters, based on the given information, is 23.3 milliliters per day.